Masquera say, Mrezem Babge, welcome to our channel, Zim Confessions and Deep Secrets. Kana karikitanka kukweba neno channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Kana uchua garoka subscriber, don't forget to comment and share this video. Nas Mrezem Babge, tagwi grainye ya buri skwa, ni news day, news day yo ya buda. Itawara pamsoro, pe 5 ma armed robberies, ayo arukunze, they implicated the name of uh, ED son Sean Munangagwa and Zaka Buddha Chalala Chiti. Eh, Sean Munangagwa is their boss. Sean Munangagwa is their boss. Uh, Mere Zimbabwe. So, yeah, Buddha. The Newsday uh, on the official uh, website was Tora Evo. A five man armed robbery gang allegedly masquerading as military intelligence and police details. Nam dropped members of the first family before extort, ex, extorting mine firms in the Matibela land region. So, and three of the suspects, Munyaradzi Charakupa, Victor Jaja, and Tawanda Mangi, appeared before Bulawayo magistrate Evelyn Madzikatire yesterday, charged with impersonating public officials, attempted extortion and extortion. The suspects, who are being represented by Brian Sengweni, were remanded in custody to tomorrow. Investigating officer Superintendent Ed Mo Runganga told the court that the three were a flight risk since their suspected accomplices are still at large. The suspects were exposed after they targeted some mines in which prominent Blawayo lawyer Dumisani Dube is an interested party. It is alleged that the suspects resorted to extorting money from the compliance to challenge a corporate rescue certificate that was held by Dube. And the Runganga said if they were granted bail, they would interfere with witnesses since the racket the racket seems to be involving police officers and government officials. The three were arrested after Dube went to Harare and engaged President Emerson Munangago's son, Sean, in the Attorney General's office following endless extortion raids against mining firms in which Dube is an interested party. In his statement, Dube said Sean disowned the gang and he told him to report it. Allegations are that in February this year, Jaja visited Dube's office and introduced himself as former officer in charge, Bedbridge police officer, who was now attached to the president's office as a member of the police protective unit. He claimed to have deployed, to have been deployed to Sean's security team with Mangi as his immediate boss in the office of president. It is the state's case that they were, the, they were in the company of Charakupa and Pemba, who claimed to be members of the military intelligence deployed to look after the late war veterans' permanent secretary Clive Mpambela's interest in Matibelen. The court heard that they were in possession of a file with special grant applications for Matibelen South Province belonging to different individuals who included three of Dubai's professional mining clients. They said the claims would be cancelled unless a protection fee of 300,000 US was paid to Sean, their boss. In his statement, signed at the CID law and order section, Dubai said he refused to pay. A month later, on April 24, 2024, I was appointed corporate rescue practitioner of Fools Investment Private Limited by Master of High Court under CRPB 1 4 slash 1 stroke 2 4. The accused subsequently came to my office claiming to be, di to be the directors of Fool's Investment and demanded 200,000 each. Judge showed me an official card from the office of the president as his identification. The statement read On the third count, the court had that they attempted to extort Dubai's client of 800,000 U.S. The prosecution alleged, alleged that one of the fourth count, the accused and their accomplices, who are still at large on July 23, 2024, threatened to kill Dubai unless he gave in to their demands. After the threats, Dubai was ordered to surrender 40,000 to Mangi. 
On count five, the four also allegedly forced Tube to pay for their accommodation covering a period of three months they were on their alleged special operation. Dube gave them 4,000 and 1,800 in the presence of Pemba and Dhaka after they threatened to kill him. In total, they extorted 55,300 from Dube on several occasions. A report was made to the police leading to the arrest of the three suspects. And on your Buritswa, the news game was in Mabu, but it's evil. But it is armed robbers, like a sunga, but it's all over cheating. Mangava Tuma, Shon Mangagua, since they were saying that Shon Mangagua was their boss, and as soon as the Dube or Yogubi or Amshir Makungi, as when the Kuna approached Shon Mangagua, Shon Mangagua, but I cheated. I saw Zia, Varumi. Bata tu hivyo kama mwenye Zimbabwe, tisinga zeyu tu mwenye nasi inyayi, zungunzi, waruma, waifamba, ni ma official cards, mu government, mwenye Zimbabwe era dunia shua, waishanda, under the military intelligence, waishanda under the Republic Police, mwenye Zimbabwe tisinga zeyu kuti, mwenye wana wose inyayi, tu zeyu zamu rufunga pamsoro kwenye inyayi, mu comment section. Akasiki kutanga mwenye Zimbabwe first family ichi wanu kwa ichi e, sanga na shitara yu ichi jishandis kwa mnyaya e, ziri shady sa hizo zi mwenye Zimbabwe e, tinga zi kuti mwenye wa si nye ii are they really armed robbers e, warushansa shitara first family kana kuti these, e, uh, these people are working with uh, the first family in the funga eh takambo nzozo kare ma gold mines uko chenzi their people baru claim akuti ma nephews are present in masomo nangagwa bachi tora ma minds eh usiri pamutemo mu Zimbabwe eh zvakaro chironzi pari kusmagwa zvino nyika ya Zimbabwe in the name of the first family tsinga zvino kuti nyacho kwa dere this is not the first time shono nangagwa achiwani kwa eh achipinzwa mu crossfire nyaya dzakadai eh kufunga staraki rambu subi sozo kari suze nitami mshu munga buda chitora ii achite shonu muna ngagwa is the one aka deploy the army kuti iwani kwa echi shuda ma city ma citizens mshu august 31 mwere zimbabwe ndi singa zee kuti muna wena see nye ii as shonu muna ngagwa involved mu this deal kana kuti tuze za mwere funga pa msoro pinya ii mu comment section